Now, the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta, has warned the government of dire consequences uh, if what it describes as a lackadaisical attitude towards the trade laws in the country continues. The group in recent times have complained bitterly over the government's failure to enforce the laws that bar foreign traders uh, from engaging in retail business here in Ghana. Now, this compelled Guta to forcefully or forcibly lock up shops owned by some foreigners engaged in retail business uh, just a few weeks ago in Kumasi and other parts of the country. Now, at a news conference held this morning uh, with all regional representatives, the group promised to reopen all shops belonging to foreign retailers. Here are the leaders of the group. About two to three weeks ago, you know, it started in uh, Kumasi and then uh, our brothers also in the Electrical Dealers Association also embarked uh, on that action. But uh, there was one who you know, started about four months ago. Four months ago, there was also an action of, uh, of that sort. And on that, uh, during that time, you know, we gave the foreigners uh, three months you know, to leave the market. But you see, they are very recalcitrant. And uh, that is the more reason why uh, we had to embark uh, on another action, I think, uh, two, three weeks ago. OK. So have you started opening the shops belonging to these foreigners? No. But if you listen to our press conference today, we said after the press conference, we are now going to open the shops. So you are going to do that this afternoon? Yes. We are going to open. But we are going to open for them to get rid of their goods. Not that we are going to open for them to remain in the market. But we are going to open for them to get rid of their goods and leave the market. How long do they have to pack their things out of the shops? Yeah, we have, we have, we have given you know government uh, one week to try as much as possible to enforce the act, so that within one week we expect all the foreigners in the retail trade to be out or to move out from those areas. We are going to embark on a nationwide action to make sure that. We, we ourselves get rid of the foreigners in the retail market. But how are you going to do that? When, it's, when, 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 when the day comes, you will know. You are our partners. We've been working with you. We don't want to, you know, come out with the strategy openly. But like we have said, we have given government one week to do that. If after the one week, government does not do it, then we will embark on the nation round. But as to the strategy, when we get to the bridge, we cross. Is that to say that after that one week, you cannot guarantee the safety of these foreign traders within the market? I wouldn't say that. We are not going to, even if, even if after, the, after the one week, even, even, even if after the one week, eh, they don't leave the market and they are still there, we are not going to embark on any attack like what happened in South, like, like what happened in South Africa. We are not going to go on that tangent. We are not going to harm anybody. We are not going to beat anybody. We are not going to kill anybody. But we come up with a strategy to make sure that they are out of the market. Have you opened the shops belonging to foreigners already? No, we have not. When are you opening? Uh, we met the regional commander. In fact, we've met him about four times last week. He's been very supportive. He and his two IC and the other gentlemen at the regional head office, they've been very supportive. We say kudos to them. We said that after this press conference, we will open the shops. And therefore, we spoke to our sector authorities, the, the executive, that we should open. We had a tough time trying to let them understand. Now, this is a national agenda. And we have a national roadmap. So we've assured them that they should open. So we'll ensure that when we go back, we'll have it open for them today. Okay. So how long do they have to pack out of the, the, the shops? The point is that we gave them three months. That's a very lengthy time. So by now, I'm sure they should have packed. Okay, so so the shops you are opening this afternoon, how long do they have to move their things completely from the shops? Per, per our press statement, we said one week. Okay. We don't think one week is a long, a short time. Okay. They can collaborate with their Ghanaian counterparts and offload their goods to them. Okay. And so that is how it used to be. Those times, they bring their goods to Ghana, they offload it. In fact, if you even talk of those in the, uh, uh, the West African uh, protocol session, they even have 30 months, three, three, three months, 90 days to do so. So they, when they come, 
they give their goods to us. Uh, we bargain, we sort of take credit or pay cash, they take their goods, they go back. If they buy any goods, they come back. That is how it was. So now they decided to stay here. So what they have to do is to offload their goods to the Ghanaian, for the Ghanaian to sell. They are not sacking anyone. They are telling all... What will happen after the one week? After the one week, leadership will check all over Ghana to ensure that they are complying. If they are complying, and we, we don't see the authorities also on the ground making sure that they are complying, then leadership will meet with all the other executives from the regions and then will follow our roadmap. Right. Now, some of the traders have also been sharing their concerns. Let's hear them. Uh, actually, we don't know. But what we think is that we will take action and then they will sit down and do nothing. And Who is sitting down doing nothing? Leaders. The, Which leaders? Uh, the government, all right. You get my point. The government. So if they are taking bribes, we don't know. But no more bribe. If they take bribe, we will also put the law into our hands and take action. What does the group intend to do next? What we intend to do is that our leaders have given us one week. So we are waiting for them. Are you going to be patient for that one? We are going to be patient. We are Ghanaians. We have been patient for long. long. And we, 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 we don't fight. Ghanaians, we don't fight. Okay. We have been patient for long. So our leaders are giving us, are giving us one week. We are waiting for the okay. results. Okay. So what will happen next? We are going to take action. If the government doesn't take action. What kind of action? The foreigners to go. The foreigners to go. How are you going to compel them to move? They will lock their shop. We are going to lock their shop. We are going to do it. I will say, yeah, 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 bread. Yeah, yes, Nigeria for catchers, Ghana must go. Ghana must go, no. Yes, Nigeria must go. Your name again? Uh, my name is Nana J. Skapa. Okay, you are? I'm a market man. Okay. My cell phones. Okay. Yeah. All right, your name too? Abraham Kwame Kweku. Okay, so Abraham, what do you do? Yeah, I, I'm a trader. Okay. Yeah. Do you I, agree with the concerns your leaders have put across? Some parts, I do agree, but some parts, I don't yeah. agree. Which parts don't you agree? Yes. The major problem for, you to, for us to fetch out to come out with the solution to solve this problem is not where they are heading towards. Okay, so how do you want them to handle it? Yes. Uh, the market, uh, those foreigners who don't come here by their own power, they does not know anybody in Ghana here. It's we black who invited them here. I'm a, I'm a victim of what I'm saying. One guy came to me that he wanted us to do business. Afterwards, he told me I should support him with my papers and do his market. And I said no. I sent him to immigration to be repatriated. The immigration took money from him and gave him the papers, illegally. You get me? And what I've learned is that if I, Abraham, Kwame Kweku, if I'm having any documents that supports a foreigner and I, I withdraw from the immigration, the immigration has the power to, re, to repatriate the person to leave our market. From then we demonstrate ourselves. We are the black people supporting them. If you demonstrate against those people that they are supporting the foreigners and then we write letters to the immigration for them to be sacked, it's easier. But if you fight against government, the uh, government role that you need to play is that what is going on, you don't, like, you, you don't like it. You come and check. If the person has his right to do this work, the government has no option to allow them to work. What do you intend to do next? Your leaders are saying yes. one week. Oh. Are you willing to wait for that one week? I don't have any option than to wait because all this while we have been waiting. And what they are doing, you know, they should need to start from the ground before we get to the top. They should talk to those people who are supporting the foreigners, uh, that they are giving them the papers to work, and then the immigration people who are doing that. Are who, are those, who are those supporting the foreigners in the market? Thank you. A foreigner cannot rent a shop in second year okay. without a foreigner, uh, without a citizen person. So the citizens, we are the citizens. We are the cause of it. So if I have in support or in hand of this, then they should call me and fetch me out and, and, and then put me aside. So yeah, that's what some of the traders had to say about this. Now, I, if you're wondering what the Nigerian traders feel about all of this, Let's find out together. Joining us in the studio is the Secretary General of the Nigeria Union of Traders Associations, NUTAG. Uh, his name is Evaristus Chukuduru Nwanku. I hope I've said that right. Yes. I, I practiced. It's nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Uh, we'll also be joined on the line by the National Organizer uh, for Guta, Clement Boating. Uh, but let me start with you. And uh, Evaristus, this is uh, starting to look like, uh, well, for Nigerian traders, it's over. Uh, it doesn't seem as if there is any room for you to continue to operate uh, as retailers here in Ghana. Thank you very much for having me in your studio and thank you uh, viewers. I think today if you look at me, you see I'm wearing black. And uh, 
in African culture, sometimes where you are grieved or you have some great misfortune, you, 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 you show it by maybe putting on black clothes. So you're grieving? Yes, because the Guta um, press conference today have finally confirmed the, 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 the nefarious activities they have been doing underground since uh, they started this ag agitation in 2007. You know, they have been covering up by saying foreigners, foreigners. Today, I think, you watching the, what they are saying today, you now know that they, they are not referring as foreigners. Because if you go to Opera Square, where they, were, where they locked Nigerian shops, you see that the Indians, the Lebanese, the Chinese, their shops are open. You see one Chinese with two Ghanaians working for him, same as Nigerians who have some three, four Ghanaians working for him, but they are interested in sacking Nigerians. I don't know where this hatred is coming from, Guta. But today, they have been exposed by themselves because of what they are doing. You see, when they are saying this, the other one is saying that there was a Ghana must go before. Mm -hmm. Now it is Nigeria must go. But I want to remind him that in 1969, Nigerians were sacked in this country by some people, some clique of people with some, it was, an, uh, it was an, uh, uh, a law. It was in the middle of Nigerian civil war. And some of our national were re re repatriated from this country into, the, into a country that are fighting civil, that are having civil war. And we have gone over that. In 1983, Nigeria retaliated uh, through President Shagari, which so many Nigerians were not happy. I am from an area where, even though Ghanaians uh, were asked to go, we made sure that some Ghanaians remain. I am from Anambra State. Go and ask. That was the state where Okuku Seku, some of the Ghanaian musicians, we, 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 we harbored them. Some of Ghanaians were, as I'm talking to you now, I have a Ghanaian woman in my mother-in-law's mother, mother -in house. For, I don't know how long she has lived there. Now they have brought about the issue again. We are not afraid to go back to Nigeria. I want to tell Guta that we Nigerians, we are not afraid to go back. But as they have come uh, clean and clear, I want the government of Ghana to make their position clearly known. Of course, they have made down to echo mm. that they are not sacking, they are not saying that Nigerian, because they are, they are signature, uh, signatory to echo mm. protocol. So we, we, are, we are waiting for government position. Before. All right, well, uh, let, let's see if uh, we can get a response from Guta. Uh, their national organizer, Clement Boating, joins us on the line now. Mr. Boating, I, I am sure you've listened to what Evaristus has been saying in the studio. Um, they say this is, this is basically uh, targeted at Nigerians. It's not about enforcing the law, which should apply to all foreigners. It's just about getting Nigerians out because you haven't kicked out the Lebanese or the Chinese or the Indians. What's your response to that? Uh, let, my, let my brother in the studio understand it clearly that we are not driving anybody away from the country. And he should also understand that any time this issue, you know, crops up, because they are in the majority who are into the retail business, uh, it looks as if they are those targeted, but it is not like that. The oppression that we are embarking upon is targeted at foreigners, and I can assure him that the Indians, the Lebanese, the Chinese are all involved in it. So did you we, shut the shops of the Chinese? Pardon? Did you close the shops of the Chinese? Yes, we, yes, we closed the shop of the Chinese. You can, you, you can go to Kumasi and find out. You can even go to, go to, go to Accra, the, 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 the in, uh, in Opera Square. Kantamantu, Kantamantu area. In Opera and, and Square. Did we you have shut, closed a number of Chinese shops. shops of we have the closed a number of Indian shops. We have closed a number of uh, Lebanese shops. So it is not, he must understand it clearly that it is not targeted at Nigerians alone. But it's unfortunate that they form the majority. That is why any time this operation is embarked upon, it looks as if they are being targeted. Because unofficial, unofficial uh, records that we even have in this country suggests that we have over 7 million Nigerians in this country, and most of them, most of them are engaged in this retail business. 
So that is why any time we embark on this upon, it looks as if they are targeted. But it is never the case. But let, we, are just, we are just calling about the enforcement of the law. As Mr. simple as that. And because they are recalcitrant, they are recalcitrant. So always they think they are the ones targeted. Mr. Boateng, but let me ask like you that. this. Uh, allow me to ask you this, please. Oh. I mean, you, you, you keep saying that you are, you are enforcing the law. You do recognize that that's not your job, right? It's not your job as Guta to enforce laws. So, 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 for you, for over 20 something years that we have embarked on this journey, and those who are supposed to enforce the law are not doing their job. Are they also not flouting the law? And those also who are also flouting the laws with impunity, are they also, is it their right to also engage? In the activities that they are engaging, so you are joining the lawbreakers. That's what you're so, saying so, to so solve the problem. Time. So it's about time the law enforcers do their job. They have to do their job. So, so how is this long, not how is long this not a, it take them to do their job? So is this not how long my successive government take it upon themselves to enforce the law that they themselves have enacted? Okay. We cannot sit down for our businesses to collapse. We cannot sit down for our capitals to go down the drain. We cannot sit down for the economic activities to be taken over by foreigners who are not supposed to do so. So it's about time they respect our laws and leave the retail business for the citizens. Mr. Boateng, so you are conceding that by seeking to enforce, as the word that you use, enforce this law, you are actually doing something unlawful. But you are saying that you are justified because others are doing something unlawful too. That is the basis of Guta's argument. So, 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 so we should continue. No, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking if that is the basis. I'm not doing it. Mr. Boateng, work with me, please. I'm asking if that is the basis of your argument. Are you simply saying we are shutting down people's shops, you know, encroaching on people's property, uh, enforcing laws that we are not mandated to enforce? We are doing all this because other people are breaking the law. So we are also breaking the law. Is that the basis of your, your argument? What, 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 what we are doing, what we are doing, we don't think we've broken any law because it, it is also enshrined in our constitution. You can also impact on citizen arrest. And our president has said that we should not be spectators, but rather we should be citizens. And so we, if, we, if we find out that somebody is going, uh, it's, it's passing our laws, it is incumbent on us to make sure that the right thing is done. We cannot sit down. We cannot sit down over the years and be waiting for, for the law enforcement to do their job, and they are not doing it. And our monies and our capitals, our properties, everything, our economic activities is being taken over by foreigners. We cannot okay. sit down. We cannot allow that. Okay. Um, now, um, Evaristus, I think the one thing that you have not been able to escape from is the fact that the law says you should not be doing what you're doing. That's what the law says. Whether it's being enforced or not, it is still the letter of the law. So... Ultimately, even if your shops were not being locked up, your operation would remain illegal. I would politely disagree with you on this. You see, we have come on a long way on this. You see, uh, the GIPC law has no provision for the ECOWA citizens. As, Ghana, as the Ghana government of uh, the day, signed on that protocol. Mm. That protocol provides, if you go to Article 1, on the establishment, it provides that every citizen of ECOWAS who has a right to go to another country, that is a, state, a member state of ECOWAS, to establish, register business, it's an enterprise or company, limited liability company, mm -hmm. on the same condition that the nationals of that country are registering their business. Except for retail. No, it didn't say except for retailers. No, but it does it's state categorically it's later on that foreigners no, are not allowed to engage no, in retail that is business. the GIPC. I'm now mm -hmm. telling you the ECOWAS protocol that Ghana has appended their signature on. Yes. It says, that protocol says that mm -hmm. every ECOWAS citizen mm -hmm. has the right to go to another ECOWAS state mm -hmm. and establish and a business. Establish business under the same condition. Look at, look mm -hmm. at the, look at the, under the same condition mm -hmm. as the citizens of that, and the right. of that country. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, if ECOWAS allows you to come and set up business here, 
you wouldn't come and set up a, a, a drug dealing business. Would no, you? no, 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 no. You wouldn't come and set up a, a kidnapping business. No, would you? no. Very good. So you would still operate within the laws of our nation. Exactly. You wouldn't set up a business that our laws prohibit you from setting up. I think that there is a contradiction in that question. You see, the, 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 contradi the contradiction is that the Ghana law, mm. Ghana state law, mm. as it is, mm. cannot uh, you cannot interpret it outside of that protocol that Ghana went and signed as international uh, 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 protocol. But one supersedes the other. Yeah, of yes. course. Look, mm. if which you, one? Which one supersedes the other? The international one, of course. Uh, really? Because you as, a, you as a sovereign nation, you cannot go there and sign if you are not a sovereign nation. Every treaty, then Ghana has every, every right. treaty I want is to subject you. to the ratification, ratification exactly. of our, our parliament. Good. So that means every treaty is subject to our national laws. laws. It's not the other way okay, around. Okay, let me let me let me let, 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 let us take it one by one. Now, if Ghana, being a sovereign state, a sovereign nation goes to UN and sign uh, 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 something mm. that says that uh, you cannot do this, you mm. cannot do that. Our time is up, and, so I'll let you okay. wrap up. Mm -hmm. And then they come up here and they say they will do it. Mm. Do you think that other nations will respect Ghana nationals when they are doing their own? It still doesn't change the fact that it's subject to and our then, laws. But we are we one government, even if you are saying as a policeman that we are, we are, we are doing illegal business, which I no, don't think... I'm not, are. I'm asking okay. questions. Okay, so... What I'm saying is that Ghana government, we don't have two governments in Ghana. What we have is Ghana government. Guta is not a government. Right. And by now, police supposed to have been doing arrests of this illegal and, and uh, forceful closure of our shops by ordinary uh, uh, people, saying yeah. that he was, he was even uh, uh, pointing at citizen yeah. arrests, yeah. as if somebody is committing a, crimi a criminal... Well, they should act. also be arresting everybody breaking the law, shouldn't okay. they? Okay, so maybe they should take over the job of the police. I also, think no, what I mean is the police should be arresting everybody. Yes, everybody the breaking the law. Would that not include uh, Nigerian traders, No, the police are not... Who, who makes... It's the Minister of Trade who would now say that we are breaking the law. They will use police and come and arrest us. Right. And what they, for the fact that the Minister of Trade has not come to close our shop, mm. what Guta are doing is illegal. All right. I want to say thank you very much to you, Evaristus, for thank coming so in to express um, so uh, the view of your members. We appreciate it.